Star. Miss Fair's debut is an ambitious double album called Exile in Guyville, inspired by the Rolling Stones' Exile on Main Street. She sings bitingly about the contradictions of being female in the 90s. And since it was summer, we took her to Coney Island to hear more about what she had to say. It's hard to be female and be yourself. You often kind of adopt whatever formulas exist or try and adapt yourself to fit some expectations. And I really, really, really want to remain myself. Liz Fair tells it like it is. She sings explicitly about sex and love in that order. So it was awkward the first time she explained her music to her parents. What did you say? I some said words about Malaysia. No, and, no, I didn't. I, I decided it was better. They would have. Their imagination would have run wild with them had I done that. So I just basically said, I write a lot of sexual lyrics. I write about stuff you guys wouldn't want to hear. <laughs> Libido is always associated with men, you know, and your libido is all over this record. <laughs> Why shouldn't it be? You know what I mean? That's the thing. If the songs really are going to speak for what I don't say in normal life, that's what they've always been. It's sort of a venue for my thoughts, the way I think them. Were you ever worried that geez, if I write this, somebody's going to think I'm a slut? Yes. Are you comfortable with that? No. That pisses me off. And the license said you had to stick around until I was dead. Everything is something based on what I've experienced. I couldn't write it well any other way. But it's not back to back. It's probably a compliment then if he, after people listening to something like divorce songs, think like you've been married and divorced. You know, then I was like, oh, but she's only 26. Don't you feel like you have? I mean, haven't you gone out with people that it feels like the same good thing anyway? How did you rationalize sleeping with your first boyfriend? Did you have to go How was a through? late bloomer? I didn't, I didn't have sex until I was about 19, so I was in college. I rationalized it out of sheer desperation not to remain like the undying virgin. <laughs> you know, I was like, I've got to lose my virgin. You know, I was really afraid to have sex. I thought I was too small. Fair seems afraid of very little these days, not even labels. Do you consider yourself feminist, post-feminist, post-post-feminist? If labels matter, I consider myself all of the above. I think basically all I care about is that women have a better life in the near future. And that includes everything, both legal, social, emotional, sexual. It's all part of it.